Night Shift Daddy by Eileen Spinelli, illustrated by Melissa Alive. Night Shift Daddy is a heartwarming story about a little girl and her father's nightly and morning rituals. Every night, father and daughter read a story. The little girl is tucked into bed and her father leaves for work. The little girl watches from her window as he walks to the bus stop and waits for the bus to arrive. Once the father is safely on the bus, the little girl goes back to bed and falls asleep. Once the morning arrives, the little girl's father is home by 8 a.m. and they have breakfast together. Once breakfast is finished, father and daughter read a story until it's time for her father to go to sleep. The little girl tucks him in, shuts out the light, and leaves to go outside and play. I chose this book to represent invisibility bias because the book highlights a lifestyle of a family that is often underrepresented in classrooms, yet is a reality for many lower class and some middle class families today. It is important that all students and their families feel represented in the classroom, and this book hits on one aspect of that. So along with the doctors, policemen, presidents, and lawyers prominently displayed on classroom walls, the class library, and in the dramatic play area as occupations, so should be janitors, truck drivers, factory workers, and many others. According to Derman Sparks and Edwards, one major dynamic of advantage and disadvantage that especially affects early childhood practice is that of the visibility or invisibility of certain kinds of people in a culture or a program. Too many early childhood materials focus on American families who resemble the stereotypes of American culture, as it is most commonly depicted. Middle class, white, suburban, able-bodied, English-speaking, nuclear families, as if these are the only types of children and families we work with. So take a moment and imagine the excitement that this book would bring a student who sees themselves and their family represented at school and consider adding it to your classroom library or incorporating it into your classroom curriculum today. Mm-hmm.